friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is yet another review session where we bring you productivity apps as well as common extensions and tools that can help you become better developer and increase your overall efficiency in today's episode we are reviewing an AI driven code completion tool called Codium Codium is an excellent AI tool that can really help you become better developer, increase your knowledge and also assist you in your day-to-day -day coding requirement. Let's get started. So Codium is your professional AI code completion tool. Codium is available as an extension to almost all popular tools that you can think of. Be it your Chrome, be it your Visual Studio Code, be it JetBrains uh, integrated development editors and much much more. With Codium's generative code which will help us save time and help us ship products faster. Like I mentioned Codium AI code completion tool is available and will work with all of your favorite development editors. It has the fastest and the highest quality auto completion suggestions possible greatly improves the accuracy of your code completion suggestions by providing context to the model that would otherwise be missing. You can also use the Codium command, commands that can help you generate the code directly into the editor based on the inputs that we will provide. So think of it like you provide an input and say I want this block of code to be generated and Codium will understand the context and will based on the AI training of the models it will generate the required code. It will really help you drastically improve code as well as your productivity that um, otherwise would take some time for you to build. You can check them out at codium.com. That's a free extension like I said you can get and use it with any all the editors that it supports. You can see there is support for Visual Studio Code which is what I use. You can also use it with JetBrains editors. You can also use it with the regular Visual Studio, Google Colab, or DeepNote and Databricks, Xcode, Sublime Text, Eclipse, IntelliJ, PyCharm, WebStorm, and much, much more. All right. So the best way is you should have two extensions for sure if you're working on Windows or Mac. I use Visual Studio Code and Chrome. So I use that for both of my uh, extensions to improve my productivity. That's a really cool tool. Like I said, it's free to use, but, but again, if you are an enterprise who are planning to go, you can provide a, your team with a custom inbuilt uh, enterprise supported tool. But for an individual user like me or a freelancer, you can always go with the individual plan, which is $0 per month. All right. So go ahead, give it a try and see if really helps you improve your day to day productivity. And I'm sure it will. Do let me know in the comment section your thoughts about this tool. Have you tried it? What do you think about it? And do give it a try. That being said, thank you so much for joining in today's session. Like I mentioned, I bring these tools and apps and uh, all the platforms so that our developer community gets benefit out of this free tools. Remember the trick is to be productive by using more tools which are available for free of cost at the same time which will assist us in our day-to-day -day work. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in another video with new and fresh tools for review. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.